Hi, Air Signs. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So this is a special reading for you, a bonus reading for the elements. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Air Signs. What is coming in for you in 2020? So I have three different Oracle decks here. So I'm going to pull one card from each. Just going to see what comes out. Maybe about love, work, career, finance, uh, family, friend, whatever we get here, we're just going to take and see what your messages are. So thank you so much for stopping in and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you and welcome. So I do ask though, um, let me know down in the description box. I'm thinking of doing um, elemental bonus readings every month and I would like to do different types of readings for you guys. So uh, something separate from the readings I already put up. If you know my channel at all, I do a uh, love energy reading. I do a singles reading. I do sort of like a general tarot forecast, and I do uh, spirit messages, what you need to know from spirit this time. But for the bonus reading, uh, for this month, I'm doing what's coming in 2020. But after this, if you like, would like to see, you know, what do I need healing from? Uh, what's going on with my ex? Um, what's blocking them? Will they make a move? I mean, any kind of reading you have in mind, separate from what I already do, please leave it in the description box below, comments below. And um, I'll take all of those into consideration. And I'll do bonus readings for the elements based on your comments, whatever kind of reading you would like to see. So I'm leaving it open to you guys. I want to give you guys what you would like to see so I can do um, what needs changing in your life, what needs healing in your life, uh, any kind of love topics, um, whatever you like to see. So, all right. So, let's see what we get here for the air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What's coming in for you? I was going to get one, but that energy deck wanted to um, give me two. So, we'll see what we get from this deck. All the decks are listed below if you are interested in uh, knowing what decks I am using. So, I think I'm going to get two now. Since we have two there, we'll get two from each one. So it's balanced. I don't know. I'm just funny that way. I like balance. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Happy holidays. So let's see what's coming in for the air signs. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, supporting the channel. I've gotten a ton of subscribers in the past month. So thank you, thank you. All right. Let's see, that one wanted to stay, so let's get one more. One more for the ear signs. Oh, that's two. One more for the ear signs, what's coming for you. And then we're going to clarify what tarot. All the decks are listed below in the description box. Tons of stuff down there. If you like to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media links. I do separate readings on Instagram also. So if you're interested in going and finding me on Instagram, I do pick a card readings. I do little short readings on there also. And I also post those to Facebook also. So let's see what we have in the energy oracle. We have, oh boy, all tied up. But two and three is five and that is all about change. So maybe if you've been constricted um, from s something, could be anything, Maybe next year is the year that you will make some change and free yourself from this tied up energy. We're going to pull tarot on all these cards. So, and we have seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So that's all about, and again, four and one, five. Do you see that? Five, five. Big, big changes coming for you, air signs, next year in 2020. This is for the whole year. So does it mean it's going to happen on January 1st? I mean, this is just energy. So something here with big, big change with double fives there, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel is really being connected to divine source, really knowing and listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, really being truly connected to your own energy as well as the universal energy. So you may be following your intuition and gut and knowing that whatever's keeping you tied up and bound or trapped in, you feel like you, you know it's time to unbind yourself. You're going to really listen to uh, your inner voice and know, okay, now is the time for change and untie yourself. 
from a situation. Hmm. Could be anything. Could be a job. Could be uh, friends no longer serving you. It could be a relationship. You could move. I mean, it could be anything here. All right. So let's see what the crystal angels have to say. We have opal. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So, yeah. So, and you see here, it's like our seventh chakra again it's like the same kind of energy being um lit up there so maybe there's uh something a situation that's been holding you down holding you back and you're not you don't feel like you're being allowed to be yourself or you can't be yourself i think 2020 is a year where you're really going to come out of your shell you're really going to break free from things no longer serving you and you're really just going to be in your power and you're really just going to be able to uh truly truly be yourself and we have here clear quartz. Let yourself feel all your emotions, your entire rainbow spectrum of feeling is sending you an important messages and guidance. So yeah, and that's again, listening to your gut and your intuition and knowing and having those deep down feelings that I need to untie myself from something because I'm feeling trapped and bound. I can't be who I truly am. And you're feeling those emotions and now that emotion and that inner knowing is guiding you to make these big changes and this purple here is all about like manifesting so yeah i think you'll be manifesting up a storm in 2020 <laughs> breaking free of something here just standing in your power knowing what you need to do and uh freeing yourself from something so let's see what we have here we have temptation yeah so this is toxic energy uh, this is Capricorn energy with the devil. So, yeah, this is toxic energy. It could be temptation uh, six, one, five, and then you, it, it's six. So you go five to six. So you go from change to six, which is a very, to me, is a very healing, balancing number. So I feel like you, you, you're going to be like freeing yourself, any toxic energy that is no longer serving you. And we have choose wisely, seven. So this is a seven of cups energy and it's water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So again, this is about choices, decisions, uh, maybe being a little confused, options, uh, cloudy, daydreamy kind of energy. So yeah, something here, I think some sort of toxic energy. So we got five, one and five is six, and then we have seven. That is progression. So you're going five, six, seven. So, you know, seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So I, I definitely feel like here, air signs, <laughs> this may not be for everybody, but you're untying yourself, unbinding yourself from something that was stuck. Really listen to your knowing and knowing it, I need to free myself from toxic energy. You know, really looking at all your options and uh, deciding wisely. You know, being in tune in touch with your emotions, which is help to, helping you to guide you. And in, in the long run, <clears throat> see my throat's getting blocked up. You may have been in a situation where you couldn't speak up. You couldn't speak your truth. <clears throat> you couldn't really say <clears throat> uh, things you really needed to say, how you truly felt. And now it's like, you know what? Now I'm freeing myself from something here that's no longer serving me. And now I can be who I am. I can say what I want. I can do what I want. All right, so let's clarify here, all tied up. So we have the eight of water, so water energy. Yeah, walking away from things no longer serving you. Again, all tied up, and yeah, listening to your gut and your intuition and knowing you need to walk away from energies that are no longer serving you. Exactly. Wow. What else? What else? For this energy, for the air signs. It's in reverse. Eight of fire. So this is communication, but it's in reverse. So it's very passionate, energetic, uh, fast-paced action, travel, communication. But it's in reverse. So I do feel like, yeah, it's something. And I had said that. I had just said that because this is communication upright. And it's reverse. So I had just said that you may be in a situation where you can't speak your truth. You can't, you, you know, you don't feel like you can speak up and that's that eight of fire in reverse like no communication kind of energy but you're walking away from that energy things that are keeping you bound and tied 
where you can't be yourself, you can't speak your truth, you can't say how you truly feel for some reason. And you know, like, I can't be stuck in this situation any longer, whether it's, you know, your work, it's a relationship, even a marriage for some, um, whatever here, or friendships that, you know, just tie you down. All right, anything else to clarify? Um, and then you have brand new beginning in love. So this could be uh, just self-love, you know, self-love and spiritual awakening. And again, with the seventh chakra is really being divinely guided. Listen to your gut and your intuition. So this is Ace of Water. So it can be a brand new beginning in love. I mean, you could be walking away from one love and going to a new love. Um, knowing it's your soulmate with that seventh chakra, or it's just a big spiritual awakening, uh, being in tune and in touch with yourself, having that self-love, self-value, self-worth for yourself, and finally going in a direction you feel is better suited for, for you. Because the eight of water, you can walk away, but walk to something better for you. So, and that ace of cups could be so, that something that is better for you. It can be a relationship. It could be a better job. It could be uh, moving to a new place, um, could be new friendships, a new spiritual relationship with your faith. So what, however that resonates for you, but there it is. So let's see. Um, let's see. So I do see very loving, compassionate, uh, spiritual energy there. Yeah, the high priestess listening to you got in your intuition. And I had just said that with the seventh chakra. It's kind of like the same energy of really being in tune, in touch, and, you know, having that strong intuition. And so was the high priestess. Now, the high priestess doesn't say much either. She keeps all the secrets to herself, as with the eight of fire in reverse. It's like you feel like you can't speak your truth. And the high priestess, you know, it's like the same energy. Like you know that. It's like, I can't speak my truth. But you're really listening to your gut and your intuition here, being divinely connected here, I feel, uh, going into the new year. We got the seven of air again, repeating. So really needing to, um, <clears throat> oh no, that's um, seven of air. Okay, so that's, I feel like that's that toxic energy. You know, somebody around you, maybe that you don't trust, they're kind of deceitful or somebody deceived you that's kept you tied up and bound. And maybe they're just a very toxic, negative energy. You know, they are very distrustful. And I feel like you're really going to be walking away from that energy, uh, coming up here, untying yourself and walking away from that. Wow. Good for you. Your signs. All right. So let's clarify here. Let yourself sparkle and shine and let yourself feel all your emotions. Queen of Fire. So exactly, <laughs> that's like the same energy, the Queen of Fire. The Queen of Fire is that fiery, passionate energy. She allows herself to be fiery, passionate. She's bold. Uh, she's creative. She's got a lot. She has a lot of drive, ambition. She's a go-getter. She's not afraid to do whatever she wants. I mean, not in a bad way, but she goes after what she wants. She's not afraid. So now you're sparkling and sh you're shining full of this fire, passionate energy this go-getter energy now because you're freed yourself from toxic energy over here that was no longer serving you. And this could be new creative ideas, new creative projects, being an entrepreneur kind of energy. However, that energy uh, resonates for you being very strong willed. The emperor, wow, the empress. So yeah, birth of new things here. So you could be, um, can be a mother figure. If not, uh, you could be a mother or if, if, if you're not a mother, then this growth expansion, birth of new things, uh, being a boss, owning your own business, uh, knowing your value in your worth, just being in that strong, like goddess empress, like energy and the queen of fire and the empress. Wow. Empress embodies all the Queens of the deck, King, queen, male, female, who was ever watching this emperor, empress doesn't matter. All right. So let's get a few more to clarify. So, hmm, I got reversals in here. So we have the two of water, the two of cups in reverse, and the eight of earth in reverse. Hmm. I don't know why I have reversals in here. So the two of water can talk about, you know, 
a soulmate union, people coming together, or a union with, you know, the divine energy and the aid of earth is like putting in the dedicated effort. I feel like you put a lot of effort into, this could be a love situation or something, or I feel like you're not putting work into any more, I think you're going solo. I think some of you are going to be going solo in January next, well, not January, but um, 2020. I think some of you are not putting any more work into unions anymore. I mean, I don't mean like all friendships, but it could be love or it could be some friendships. You're like, you know what? Re releasing those toxic friendships and no longer putting any more work and effort into those toxic relationships. That's what I feel. Because now you know your value and your worth. And you're worth more than toxic energy. So some of you are not investing any more in uh, some relationships here. Whether it's love, friendships. No, no more. No more. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. The Magician. Yeah, wow. So you, you're manifesting here. Uh, male, female, doesn't matter. Manifesting new beginnings for yourself. You know, now you know your value in your worth. You have that self-love and compassion. Um, maybe you always were a nurturing, caring, giving, stable kind of person. So now you're like, you know, I'm going in a new direction. I'm manifesting something new for myself. Again, you could be manifesting a new business, a new idea, a new creative project. But you have all the tools and the resources for this new beginning here. And you did have the Ace of Cups over there. So, you know, and the Ace of Cups could be just a divinely guided new beginning for you that you're just totally in love with and having just a lot of self-love for yourself also and spiritual love. Now you're manifesting new things in your life. Wow. But you're not no longer putting any work into relationships that are no longer serving you. The two of water there. It's like, boom, done, kaput, no more. No more toxic energy, deceitful energy, no more. All right, so <clears throat> let's see. So some of you are starting a business. Um, I see that new beginning manifesting right there. And I think it's something that um, you're just going to totally, totally love. If it's a new, not a new business, it could be a new job. I think it's something you'll truly, truly love. Okay, three of ear. So yeah, uh, three of ear can talk about third party situations. Um, and it's right under the devil, toxic energy. So there could have been relationships where, and it doesn't have to be, third party it could be very hurtful painful things that were said that were done backstabbing behind your back people being two-faced lying cheating you know stealing i mean whatever here with that toxic energy so obsessions um addictions whatever here and it's like you know what no more i'm done three of air i've been hurt i've been hurt and those energies just left me confused and um so let's see, let's get, I'm not going over the signs too much because this is all just energy because we, we're going to have all the signs here anyway. So, wow. So now we have the emperor. We have the emperor now, empress. Now we have the emperor and we have the nine of fire. So again, the nine of fire is that energy being the wounded warrior, uh, the battered, tattered soldier, but you still have strength to persevere on when needed, fight on a little more fight and struggle left in you. you know, you've been through things here, especially with the three of swords energy. You've been through the battle. You've been through that toxic energy. You've been hurt. You've been, you know, deceived and you fought and you battled through it all. And now you're coming out as emperor or empress here. So again, <laughs> being in control, being in charge of your life, your destiny, and not dealing with that energy anymore. Only doing what's best for you. Well, okay. So now we have the ten of water, which is totally ha total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. So being totally happy and fulfilled now, and just totally in love with life and how things are going for you, and proud of yourself that you cut away things and toxic energies no longer serving you. And, you know, here's the moon energy. So this could talk about, you know, um, again, secrets, um, not, 
not seeing things clearly, uh, but also secrets coming to, can be about secrets, but also secrets coming to light. Um, may, you know, maybe you're not too clear how, you know, everything will go coming up in the coming year. But Spirit wants you to know, I feel like, even though you don't see things clearly right now, how things are going to go for you uh, for the rest of the year, just know by doing what you need to do, releasing yourself from energies no longer serving you, toxic energies or whatever here, and releasing yourself and just feel like some of you are just going to go solo, that you'll be totally fulfilled here, happiness and joy. You'll be in your emperor, emperor empress energy, totally aligned with yourself, your self-worth, self-love. And manifesting new beginnings for yourself, uh, whether it's just going solo, moving, new job. It can be some, a new love, but I don't feel that. I feel like some are just going to go solo, um, at least coming up for the next year. Wow. Because one in eight, one is nine, which can talk about wishes and dreams coming true, uh, happiness and joy. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the king of air. So again, standing in your truth. And that is, wow. So this is the air energy. King of air is air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you guys standing in your power. I can't make this up. I can't. <laughs> Being in your power, standing with truth and clarity. Speaking your truth, telling it like it is. Open, honest, truthful communication and cutting away things no longer serving you. Wow. Wow. Yep. Cutting away things no longer serving you, I feel, coming up for the next year. I see good by doing this, by cutting those things out no longer serving you, untying yourself, really listening to your gut and your intuition, being your true self, letting yourself sparkle and shine, feeling your emotions and letting that guide your intuition and doing what's best for you. You have new beginnings here and total fulfillment, so... Good for you, air signs. So I hope that resonated for you, air signs. Again, um, if you're new and you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Do all kinds of readings, bonus readings, tons of stuff. You can check out my channel. And please don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of bonus readings you'd like to see every month. Um, I can do all kinds of love readings. I can do general readings, healing messages. Um, I could do pat, little past life readings. Um, I can do anything. I can do anything you want. So leave comments below. Let me know what you like to see. And uh, I hope to see you next time. So take care, air signs. And um, good luck to you. Sending you the best. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.